snowflakes dance about Ohara, Kyoto. Now and again, soft sunlight spills over the mountain village. The snow, still falling past the first day of spring, signals that the new season will soon arrive. Venetia's farmhouse is covered with a light dusting of snow. She is up early and in the kitchen. This is where she always starts her day. On the menu for breakfast today is Venetia's specialty, mushroom toast. As a child, Venetia learned how to make mushroom toast from her mother. It's become a dish that Venetia's four children associate with their own mother. Today, she's making it for her grandson, Joe. Joe is in his second year of junior high. He leaves for school from Venetia's house on school days. Mornings are family time for Venetia. She sees everyone off with a smile. Venetia can see her son Eugene, who's now a university student, in her ever-growing grandson. Venetia is extremely grateful for her daily life, which is a constant cycle of routine. ちょっと多分喋れ喋れ喋る話題がだんだん少なくなるかもしれないから、でも子供がいたらいろんな話できるし、手伝ってくれるもんねみんな。they're now in their 17th year of living in Ohara. When they first moved to the century-old farmhouse, they experienced constant surprises and hardships. They renovated as a family and made it into the cozy home they live in today. is a long-time and much-respected friend of Venetia's. Yeah, I'm 
だよね。前田さんの陰で日本の文化を分かったのはいろいろ教えてくれてでも私あるもの全然ダメでしょ。えー、<笑>何を言ってもミニシャが聞いてくれないこともあるけど。<笑>私が間違ったことはっきり言ってくれるからそれすごくありがたいのね。前田さん、サポーテッド・ヴェニシャ、ウンチュウズ・ビジー・ワーキング・アン・レイジング・ハ・ファミリー。シー・トーテッド・ジャパニーズ・コンベンションズ・アン・カスタムズ。アン・ア・シン・ベカム・モー・ライク・ア・パート・ヴェニシャ・ファミリー・アン・ア・フレンポリッシュのフロー、ウィッドレフトオーバーライスウォーター。なんかこれで掃除できるしなかった。ライスウォーターは、ワックスのプロピティーが大きなパリッシュ。<laughs> the farmhouse had accumulated many years of dust and grime. Venetia enjoyed seeing its gradual transformation. Over 27 years, Maeda's son has closely observed Venetia's lifestyle more than anyone else. Noriko Tsuji lives in Ohara. And is Venetia's closest gardening friend. She always lends a hand when work gets tough. They add fertilizer to the dormant winter garden, pull the weeds to maintain the soil's richness. She enjoys winter gardening, considering the layout of the garden. While imagining how the flowers will bloom the following seasons. Gardening alone is fine, but doing it with someone else speeds up the work and helps generate ideas on the garden layout. Nori chan no bai wa keko watashi to nite ru no ne, kono mi tabu ne. Dakara, 同じものを感動して好きよね<笑>日本語日本の名前と英語のお勉強<笑>あるし<笑>うんですねまあ私ハムのことはやっぱりちょっと知らないんでそんなにでも電子屋さんにちょっと習うようになってなんかこう使えるじゃないですか、うん、だからすごいなと思ってまあちょ,っとちょっとずつ教えてもらって。なんか楽しくなってきましたね。うん、自分覚えたこと。若い人に教えたいっていうところがあるから、うん、まあ、スリーの世代を彼女とのもう行ったら、またそこの世代がまた別の世代。に話す。ガードニング本当にほっとくできない生き物ですから。うん
だから帰ってきて水やりやってなかったら本当に植物がこんなってるんだったらもうご飯だからあとやっぱり庭先水あげないとあかんよね<笑> Plants are living things and gardens have much to teach us The earth shares its wisdom with us in every season. Spring buds slowly uncurl, giving us a message of hope and rebirth. Summer dances with happiness. It shows us that even though we are all a little different, each one of us has a special beauty that is waiting to bloom. In autumn, tranquility hangs in the air, for it is the time for reflection. The night lengthens and cool winds begin to blow. As the flowers fade, the autumn leaves are already beginning to prepare for winter. Winter is the time to rest. The garden teaches us patience. It shows us that all good things come to those who wait. What grows in our gardens is not just the plants, but the human spirit itself. The sun begins to show its face in the afternoon. There's a delicious smell in the air. It seems Venetia's husband, Tadashi, has started to prepare bacon. An alpine photographer, Tadashi enjoys a handmade lifestyle when he's at home, perhaps even more than Venetia. I add sugar, salt and pepper. Tadashi has worked as a chef with outdoor cooking as forte. even makes his own seasoning sauce for the bacon. A perfectionist, he takes great time and care in making it. When they first moved to Ohara, Tadashi made all the repairs to the dilapidated farmhouse and takes on all the heavy labor work required for their valley lifestyle. It will steep for about a week. I basically just enjoy doing whatever I feel like. So, for instance, I might get some firewood to chop, things like that. The chopping wood helps me expend some energy. I enjoy it because it's really refreshing and more fun this way. It's enjoyable and fulfilling. And I feel that continuing this lifestyle here enables us to keep living. Tadashi married Venetia 21 years ago. It was around the same time he became an alpine photographer. And ever since, he's been responsible for the photos and translations for Venetia's books. One of the best things about Venetia is that she, she thinks for herself. 
And if she says she wants to do something, she'll just go ahead and do it. Having seen her do that over a long time, I see how that attitude connects with work. And that's had an influence on me too. I think she's a person who does things right, who puts in effort. He believes that thanks to his and Venetia's mutual cooperation, they were able to build a life in Ohara together. He removes the salt from the meat he left to steep a week earlier and puts it in the smoking device. The wood chips are also handmade. This has been cut into slices. There's a lot of wood here. It's for burning. This is wild cherry blossom wood. I probably heard from someone that cherry blossom wood is best, but it might be interesting to try other kinds of wood as well. He lights the chips and smokes them for about four hours. He devotes a lot of time and enjoys the wait. In this way, an ordinary day turns into a special occasion. Both Venetia and Tadeshi have mastered the art of enjoyable living. Venetia looks forward to visiting the morning market during her weekend early morning walks. The market is in its 14th year, and Venetia has been a regular since it began. It stocks fresh and tasty produce, in particular, Kyoto-grown vegetables. Word of the market spread, and people from afar now visit. Venetia has come to buy ingredients for today's hot pot. But the best thing about the market is meeting all her Ohara friends. The Watanabes are farmers. Venetia first met them when they were still students. The Watanabes moved to Ohara 15 years ago, having decided to try organic farming. Venetia has supported them ever since. <laughs> They're currently leading a wave of hopeful young farmers and as young parents have become a firm part of Ohara's community. Ohara has become a place for the next generation. Venetia is happy to see such a great development. Venetia will make a tomato herb hot pot with ingredients from the market. Tomato nabe. Today, 
Venetia is going to invite her cherished friends over for a party. She often entertains by making a hot pot. Put the chopped garlic into the earthen pot and lightly fry in olive oil. Season with white wine, saffron, salt and pepper. Then add water and clams to make a stock. Add the tomato puree and bring to boil. Cut the vegetables and other ingredients into bite-sized pieces and place on a large plate. The Yuba bean curd skin was also handmade by a market friend. Venetia's cooking is made even more delicious thanks to the safe and abundant produce. Add the ingredients in order of required cooking time, and then it's complete. Venetia will also add Tadashi's homemade bacon to the tomato flavored hot pot. <laughs> it's their heartfelt hospitality for their friends who care for and support them. Venetia's daughter Julie and grandson Joe. She's happy the two are so close. <laughs> Time spent making things by hand is extremely fulfilling. Venetia has always had her very special family and friends around her in Ohara. It was a lovely day, and the sky was so blue. The gay young winds were singing in the maple trees. I heard the magic word, thank you, whispering in my heart. Looking back over the years, I remember the faces of all the friends who helped me in times of hardship and who supported me in times of joy. My heart is filled with thanks to you all.
which I can never forget. Sometimes in the family, we find fault and take for granted the very people who most deserve our thanks. So let us not forget to say thank you, for we all have been given a special gift to give to each other. The early morning sunlight floated across the daffodils. The warm rays seemed to be pulling everything green out of the earth. I kneel down and start to weed my garden. Spring is in the air. They hold the magic word, thank you, in their hearts. Oh, yes, you are. <laughs> <laughs> Benicia's daily life continues with each passing season. <laughs> 